go right into it. Maybe v Mac, you just want to talk about being back here, and then I'm sure these guys will have some questions for you. Okay. Um, definitely going to say it's a great feeling. I always like to, you know, come back and enjoy um, being around this atmosphere uh, and seeing the many changes uh, since, you know, the last time I've been here. Um, coming to these camps and seeing some of the potential guys that we, you know, we may get as Hurricanes and definitely coming out here to support Mario Cristobal. Like I was trying to remind everybody, he was my GA graduate assistant, kind of helped me out a lot in my career. So anything I do to help him out, because he did me a big favor, I tried to come back and show the same support. <clears throat> you see, see the way that they built up this offensive line? That has to get you pretty excited, right? Right, and they were telling me they're, they mentioned to me like two guys, I think were freshmen, uh, to remind them of myself, so I'm excited to kind of meet them and kind of see, um, you know, like their footwork is important and just you know how they play. And then as the footwork and technique becomes mindset, so that too. You mentioned seeing the way this place has been built up. I mean, people always used to talk about back in the older days, you know, not having the facilities, but then you see places like this weight room and everything else around. Um, we actually just talked about that today, uh, Najee and I, how we didn't really have the top facility and everything, but we just had like, our work ethic and our grind and you just kind of get out there and get it done. So I don't really feel like it's about the facility because a weight is a weight. <laughs> You're going to do your workout and make do with what you have. Um, but I think we did a great job of that. But, you know, a lot of guys like the the look of things too. So, you know, you know Miami has definitely come in and enhanced this facility a lot. <laughs> it used to be like a small box. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it was like. You guys ever, like, the alumni ever kind of grab the current players and say, you guys have it so much better than we did? They do. And they, never, well, they, they don't know, but they definitely do. Um, they even have, like, dorms, like, right across the street now where, like, we were, like, way across campus and, like, uh, Pearson and Mahoney and such. And so it's a lot more convenience for them, so they shouldn't be late. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot more things should be, like, they have, like, a better, you know, like, food in here. Like, you know, they have, like, a lot more things going on. You just have to order, like, Desi's you know, like call on the phone and, and get it delivered to us, stuff like that. So they have like a whole training table in the building. So it's a lot more convenient. Obviously there's a big difference between being a GA and a head coach, but what about Mario back then? Is still maybe the same that gave you so much I confidence? I think he has, he has a great there. eye for like, he has a great eye. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he has a great eye for potential. Uh, <laughs> you he still have the great potential. hands. Yeah, that is. <laughs> right. <laughs> He has a great eye for potential, and he's seen that in like myself and a couple other players and knew to work with him. I feel like that's what probably makes him a great recruiter. He has a great eye for that talent and also it's uh, you know, a mindset. So you can have a lot of talent, but if they feel like privileged or whatever like that, like you have to get guys who don't mind coming here and working and coming in to try to take people's position. That was another conversation we had earlier is like the group I came in with, Vernon Carey and Philip Buchanan and Clinton Portis. We talked about how we're in our orientation, Clinton and Phillip were already like discussing how we're only gonna be here for three years. Like that was their mindset. Like I'm coming in, I'm taking somebody's job, I'm getting out, like, you know what I'm saying? They might not do that now with these NIL deals. They might wanna stay a little <laughs> longer and enjoy that, but that was our mindset coming in, being hungry and not minding, you know, competing, coming in to, cause now we're coming to try to take somebody's job that makes that player have to raise their level to keep their job. So it makes everybody better. If you were a recruit who was, you know, attending the camp today, what would you want to hear from the staff about where the program's heading? Um, if I was a recruit, I want recruits. I'm gonna tell you, beyond these recruits, want to hear that they want to that they're gonna play right away, but they just have to know that it's um it's a marathon, not a sprint, and just come in here, and we can help put you in the right direction, and that's why we have the 358 players that have been on, you know, went on and had successful careers in the league. So that's something that they should know that we do have a standard here, and we're able to you know, get people to the next level and um, even graduate as well. Do you see any similarities to the culture um, when you play to, to what the culture is now? Um, from what I'm hearing is the work, like the work that they're um, being demanded to do is kind of getting back to what we were on. Um, I don't know the players, but as far as when I was here, we were very close off the field as well. So I feel like that's a very important thing too, is getting things, whether they do paintballing, some team bonding activities, escape room, something to start becoming a team and like a family because that's what we, you know, were. So that's what another thing, another element that's important besides, you know, the athleticism, athleticism part is becoming like a family. And once they inherit that, I feel like every team that I was successful for, even in Baltimore, they like family oriented. So that's what you need.
What do you think of uh, having another Lackawanna alum on this I just team? met him, Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> I just met Kobe. Um, so I, I like that. I like that, <laughs> that Miami's still going back up to Lackawanna where they found me. Um, and, um, and still going out there and being able to find other guys. There's been a couple guys from Lackawanna since, uh, since me. So um, we just got introduced today. And it, it's actually great to see that. And I actually was going to FaceTime Coach Duda and go back out there to Kobe and like put him on the phone. Um, I'm a little behind, but um, what do you think of uh, this upcoming season for you and like the, the, the team? And, and then also, what's it like for you to, to be back? Uh, I enjoy being back. For, as far as the upcoming <coughs> season, I expect it to be better than last season. But I look at it as the freshmen who were here last year gives them to like their junior year. And, that's, and by then, while them juniors, they'll have a certain like work ethic under them to be able to relate to everybody else. You know, you're trying to get, you know, some of the other people who aren't used to, you know, the new style. So once you have everybody, like at least junior year, everybody kind of be acclimated and then that'll become contagious and that work ethic will be contagious. So I'm looking for this year to be better and the, next, and the following year to be even better. Didn't ask you about the Hall of Fame. Uh, just what was your reaction when you, when you found that out earlier this year? Um, <laughs> I was on a ballot, like I think, like maybe once or twice prior and I never knew how you voted. <laughs> Nothing. So I was like, what? And I thought it was a mistake. I thought somebody was correcting me, was trying to tell me that I was in the Miami Hall of Fame. And I'm like, I'm in the Miami Hall of Fame. And they're like, no, the Hall of Fame. I clearly wasn't thinking about the college. Because <laughs> I never knew how to operate it. And then they were like, just, I'm trying to explain you're in the college Hall of Fame. I'm like, when, did, when was the voting? Like, I never knew how to tell people to vote or anything. And then they told me, and then it was announced a scene, like um, a pre-show for the national championship game. I'm like, oh my God. It's like, I don't know, I feel like, when I first started, I didn't, I didn't even think about being in the University of Miami Hall of Fame, let alone overall college. So it was definitely a big shock. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward because I go out to Vegas in December for the actual um, induction. And I feel like I have a great class. The White Freeney's a class member. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Rick, right? Is Mark Rick Mark, class, Rick, Mark Rick is. Um, I know Tim Tebow, Reggie Bush. So we have a great class of people. Um, Robert Gallery, great class. Um, that I'm a part of and looking forward to the experience. Great. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I